Many of us use topical treatments on our skins like lotions, creams, toners, cleansers to make our skin beautiful from the outside in, but there's actually a way to help your skin be beautiful from the inside out. Dr. Shias is here to talk about it tonight. Good, good point, evening. Erica. Actually, good evening. Um, uh, skin is actually the largest organ in mm -hmm. our body, and every 27 days regenerates itself. Wow. Skin has amazing impact on our health. The question, if you look at the structure of the skin, Erica, there are two major proteins in our skin, it's called collagen and elastin. More of these fiber we have, you can see softer and smoother our mm -hmm. skin is. Because of aging or nutrition, whether happens or environmental factor, as we start losing those fibers, collagen, you can see starting of the wrinkle over here, and that loss of fiber continues, these wrinkles get deeper, and the skin starts uh, sagging and fine lines forms. The question is, what causes the damage these? These yeah. are the, some of the picture of these fibers, the collagen and elastin. More of these we have, better skin, skin tone and less wrinkle we have. Problem that what causes the damage? Amazing that nutrition plays a key role because as you mentioned, this is internally we are feeding our skin. Some of the food that causes significant damage to the skin is actually food that's high in sugar, fried foods, even soft drinks, table sugar, even white bread. Because when you eat too much of sugar, Erica, that produces insulin, and insulin is inflammatory hormone. More inflammation you have, faster you're breaking down your fiber. And that includes all these foods. So by cutting down, you can significantly reduce the inflammation and protect these elastin and collagen from breaking down. So let me ask you this. I this is my assumption, not all skin is created equal, right? Because the, you know, the way our skin feels on our arms or on our bodies is different from our face, and it seems like that's where you see those fine lines and wrinkles show up quicker. Is there a way to uh, work on the skin, especially on your face, if that's what you have the issues with? Actually, every, part of it depends because our skin is exposed more in external factors okay. from sunshine and other things. But yeah. nutrition-wise, we can do a lot of things. But one thing that we want to really cut it down to prevent, especially the sagging of the skin, is cutting down the processed sugar. More sugar, more inflammation, more breakdown. Of course, there's a good news because through the nutrition, we can also change a lot of things. Yeah. Another thing that, Erica, we have to watch is stress because stress causes cortisol. Cortisol is inflammatory hormone that also breaks down. The good news, nutrition kicks in. Uh, our skin is just like other organs, requires all the nutrients. Sure. One of the best ways to feed your skin is through the, some of these nuts that are loaded with vitamin E, selenium, magnesium. Beta carotene is very important, vitamin A, part of the healthy skin. All the food that has yellow color from, for example, sweet potato, carrots, or vegetables. Yeah. Erica, one of the key things to enjoy healthy skin for a long time, pack those superfoods. These are berries, these are packed with antioxidant. Those are the ones that protect the inflammation and really protects the breakdown of those fibers and helps you to enjoy good skin. Lutein lycopene from uh, tomatoes, even sometimes red wine has a good uh, impact on that antioxidant. And Erica, incorporating omega-3 fatty acid is a major component of the healthy skin. So through nutrition, lifestyle, actually, we can really protect our skin. And other things, a very critical part of the healthy skin is the hydration. More hydration you have, healthier the skin. And of course, no skin can be healthy without proper exercise. This is very important, Erica. You mentioned at the introduction of subject, one of the best ways to enjoy healthy skin, feed internally, yeah. protects. By exercising, two things are happening. Number one, you're increasing the blood flow to the skin. It means more oxygen, more nutrient, more vitamins, more regeneration of these cells. And also exercise reduces insulin, which is inflammatory hormone, and cortisol. So the combination of good nutrition and exercise, you really can enjoy good skin for years to come. And is there a balance between what we do inside our bodies with what we still do outside? So if you're exercising, your skin gets sweaty, then you still need to properly cleanse it and clean it so that it's, that it's prepped and primed. Absolutely, right? that's extremely important. The skin needs both have the care, external and internal care, because some of the sunshine or other, other pollutant, pollutant from the environment, those are basically have to be protected on both sides. But nutrition really plays a key role yeah. because it enables the body actually to cut down those inflammation and it protects all these uh, breakdown that happens in the elastin and, and collagen, which cause wrinkles and fine lines. And kind of have that natural glow from absolutely. the inside out. Absolutely. Well, thank yes. you so much for the great advice tonight. Yeah. And if you have any more questions, you can contact Dr. Shayesta there at the number on your screen. That initial consultation is always free. And you can always watch this segment again on our website, wkbn.com.